permit request by Centella Charter Academy for an expanded uh, school facility in our <laughs> center. Center Carpet is located at 2171 East Park Avenue. Um, this is about halfway between the Jail Reaper Middle School and the back entrance of the Dallas High School. Um, such a property in the area, we see the existing facility at the east end of the property. Um, site plan um, was first approved back in 2014, looks like this. I think we've added one building since then. Um, but their expansion is to increase from an elementary school to add a middle school component to the campus. In your packet, and this is a copy of the original master plan from 2014, as well as their certificate, which outlines the approval. Um, the most important of that is a building cap of 65,000 square feet. Uh, with the proposed additions, it would go beyond that uh, and actually roll over 100,000 square feet. And they are requesting approval for up to 130,000 square feet to allow the possibility of perhaps a little additional expansion depending on their size. Um, so in your packet, you can have, of course, the old plan. The new plan looks like this. It's a little hard to read from a distance, so I have zoomed it in for you. Um, this is the eastern third. Uh, like we talked about the work session, they're wanting to uh, not only add more buildings, but also make some changes to the site. One of those is to reverse the current traffic flow. Um, and currently, the drop off and pick up is an clockwise flow around from the back of the school, exiting near the front. We want to reverse that so you enter near the front around an expanded parking lot. And then the drop off pickup is in the middle of the campus between the elementary school and the middle school component. So it sort of consolidates the drop off pickup function and um, adds quite a bit more stacking space for that. Um, some pictures of the southern property with the signage, just to the park avenue, um, showing the campus facility. The driveway that you see there on the left is actually the path of the north side drive that will be extended. Extended Sunday, and then this is the front of the school, um, and this is during one of the afternoon pickups um, right there at the main entrance. Adjacent properties, which the area is still undeveloped and wooded, um, and with that, Planning Commission review this at their meeting back on November the 26th. It uh, consists of the conference plan, in addition to the review criteria, which are outlined in the packet, and the recommending approval subject to three conditions. Essentially, these conditions are bringing forward of those original conditions in 2014 as they would apply today. The first one is conditional use approval, which will be granted for both an elementary school and middle school shared campus grades pre K through 8, including school recreational facilities based on the general layout of the revised master plan, and with a total building area not to exceed 130,000 square feet. Site design should comply with all applicable LDR standards for such schools. Outdoor activities shall be limited to daytime and early evening hours, not exceeding 9 p.m. All on site lighting shall be directed away from the northern property line, which is the adjacent neighborhood. Number two, a minimum 50 foot wide landscape buffer shall be extended and remain as undisturbed along the entire northern property line. Additional native trees and shrubs shall be planted to fill in the bare patches of this buffer area as approved by the city arbors in accordance with the site's approved landscape plan. And lastly, number three, conditional use approval shall supersede the approval from 2014 and shall expire after five years from the date of this approval if the middle school portion of the campus is not operating on site by that date. You can have to answer any questions you may have. Council, I have any questions. Well, we mentioned Tuesday night that there, if by chance there should be a handout from the state, if there are permits that they need from them, um, could they come back to us? Would they come back to us to ask for an extension? They could. Or would have to go through the whole process again? They would need to go back through the whole process to amend it. The original staff had called for years, knowing that they were very anxious to get started. They asked the planning commission to extend that to five, um, which is not really an issue there at all. Um, the longest we have granted for conditional use approvals is 10 years, um, and there is some rationale that even that would be okay here. I think regardless of those numbers, they are anxious to get it operating as soon as they possibly can. And if we extended the number, then we take away that possibility probably of them having to come back and force. 
Any other questions on this? So your recommend, staff recommended in three years, planning commission recommended five. Correct. All right. Okay. Fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Speak in favor of this request. Mayor, I'd like to speak briefly. Come forward and state your name. <coughs> I'm Zachary Coward. I'm the board chair out of Centilla. I um, appreciate all the hard work of Matt and the planning commission. And um, I can answer any questions if anybody has any questions. But both from the schools get approval from the state to move forward with 6, 7, and 8th grade. The finance is already lined up. So we wanted to take this step before it requested from the state just to make sure that we would be authorized if the state did grant that access. So, question. Yeah. Is the five years enough time? Yeah, I'd love for it to be ten, but whatever y'all deem appropriate. Yeah. We have to just done the full ten, but that's outside of our control. Gotcha. Any other questions of that? Mr. Cowell, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Awesome. Anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone who would like to speak in favor? Okay. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone who would like to speak in opposition? All right. Seeing none, uh, Council, I'll turn it over to you for action and please include in your motion the term of the uh, term. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to present, uh, I'd like my motion to approve this as presented with the uh, three conditions from the, that was voted on by the planning commission, but change number three from five years to ten. Second. All right, we have a motion on the second. It's in the discussion. Hearing none, all in favor of the motion uh, with the change to the uh, provision condition, conditions there, uh, say aye. Aye. All opposed by same sign. There is none. The motion carries. 